I'm going to show you how you can set up a new storage disk on Windows Server. I'm going to assume that you've already attached a new virtual hard drive to the virtual machine using the hypervisor manager, or if it's a physical server, added a new physical hard drive to the server. So once the new drive has been added, if you come over to File Explorer, and then under this PC, you will probably find that the drive does not appear. What you'll need to do is right click the start menu, and then come to disk management. And then under disk management, you should see a new disk, which has unallocated space. The first thing you want to do is right click the disk on the left hand side and then select online. And then once it is online, you can right click it again and initialize the disk. In the initialize disk window, you can select either MBR or GPT. I recommend you leave this as GPT as this will give you access to the best performance and the newest features. We can then press OK to initialize the disk. Then once the disk has been initialized, we can right click the unallocated storage and then create a new volume. In the new volume wizard, we can press next through the wizard. By default, it will try to create the maximum volume size it can. So I will leave that as default. So we have a full drive that takes up all of the disk. However, if you want to create multiple volumes on the same storage drive, you can just reduce this in size. I'm gonna leave this as default and then press next. I'm also gonna give it a drive letter so the next drive letter I have available is E, because the C drive is my operating system, and then the D drive is my CD drive. So I'm gonna select the next available drive, which is E. If you want, you can select do not assign a drive letter or path, but if a drive letter or path is not assigned, you won't be able to access it through File Explorer easily. So I'm gonna leave the drive letter assigned as E, and then select next. I'm then gonna format the volume, leaving it as NTFS, for the allocation unit size, I'm gonna leave this as default. And then we're gonna give my volume a label and we'll just call this data. I'm gonna leave perform a quick format selected and I'm not going to enable file and folder compression. As we've selected quick format, any data on this drive will be wiped. However, as it is unformatted, there won't be any data on it anyway. So we can press next and then we can press finish to complete setting up our new volume. Now that's finished, we can see we've got our data drive. It is in a healthy state. And if we come back over to File Explorer, we've got our new E drive with the labeled data. Now we can start creating files or folders and storing data in our new drive that is attached to our Windows Server. So that's how you can set up additional data drives on Windows Server.